admin logical status. So if the database is configured for uh, warm standby, we will get a pair of, of for uh, for primary. I mean, we will get the information about the primary server as well as the uh, secondary server. But it is only for uh, warm standby setup. Great, thank you, Amit. Okay. Another of our guests asks, how easy is it to go through a resource file? Hello? Yeah, I didn't get this question. Yes. How easy is it to go through a resource file? And they also know that they're using this for auto uh, resource revision. File. Uh, resource file for uh, uh, for uh, uh, RS init, right? I mean, we can we can we can uh, we can set this up. Uh, I mean, if you if you want to go for uh, uh, other method other than uh, RS init, uh, then we we can generally go for. Uh, RS file, but it's better to go with RS init because it is much more a simpler way. Uh, to uh, configure particular connections for uh, warm standby or tabular replication. At least you can define physical connections out of it. Uh, um, and at a point in time, if you need to save uh, the output or the setup of RS in it uh, on, in, onto a file, onto a box, uh, yes, you can do that. Uh, uh, most probably it should be an option with control W it will it will save whatever information you are entering into the RS in it onto a file uh, then you can you can alter this file and um, have the setup once again so it's like much more an easier way to do great thank you now I'll invite our viewers as well to ask follow-up questions if we don't fully answer here uh, another one asks how will IQ manage loads sent by rep server? As far as they know, IQ does better loading big amounts of data at once. So really, how will IQ okay, handle sure. loads? From uh, actually, server? when you configure, yeah, sure. Uh, when when uh, uh, generally from fifteen five replication server is uh, uh, quite good at managing the replication from ASC to IQ. Um, when when you create the connections to IQ, you need to you need to mention the profile uh, as RS uh, AS uh, RS to AS uh, sorry AS to IQ RS AS to IQ profile. This profile will uh, generate an inbuilt function uh, uh, created by replication server within itself. Uh, which will get the data out of your ASC and transfer it to IQ. Uh, but along with it, yeah, generally IQ performs well when there is a bunch of data uh, target. Uh, but as far as the OLTP transaction or uh, uh, or the transaction when transaction when there is like much. Uh, uh, when when there is like much tra uh, much traffic on the primary and you you expect it to go f uh, faster on the replicate side that is IQ side yeah there there will be few issues about it but the best way would be like to uh, compile this command uh, compile this transaction commands on uh, on the so on the replication server and then apply this bunch onto the target. So this 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 is supposed to be a better idea, and for so as to support this particular um, uh, approach, uh, you you have got few configuration parameters uh, on replication server, which will uh, compile the commands for you, and then at a particular threshold, you can uh, the the bunch of commands will be applied on the onto the IQ. So it will be much more simpler uh, this way. Great, thank you, Amit. A few more questions coming in here. Um, someone asks, they're trying to create table-to-table -table replication. When they're running the subscription, they're getting replication not settled, I assume, as an error. Uh, any suggestions in that scenario? 
Yeah. Uh, when you when you set up uh, a table to table uh, table to table level replication, the first and foremost thing which you need to do is like uh, identify a table um, for replication. Set that particular table for replication with the uh, set rep table so procedure. Um, along with that, you need to have a connection specified with uh, uh, log transfer on. The reason being you need to have the transactions from primary to get accumulated and then transferred onto the replication server which will then apply it onto the, repli uh, on the replicate server. Uh, uh, the first and uh, the connection what it will do is it will configure uh, it will it will assist the rep agent to get the data out of the primary database and primary table I mean and then uh, transfer it to replication server and then it ultimately it will it will go on and trans or go on applying it to the secondary over here once you create the connection for primary database then you need to configure your rep agent you need to create one more connection which will apply the transaction for from replication server onto the target so there there will be two connections involved one will be your for primary primary data and the second will be for uh, applying the transactions onto the replicate side uh, over here before creating a subscription you need to create a replication definition over there you need to mention the name of the primary uh, primary connection you need to mention the name of the tables or if you want some specific tables or specific columns you can mention it over there um, replication server needs for sure one at least one primary key because that is the key behind uh, applying the transactions onto the uh, secondary in a unique way so basically you need to mention or you need to create a particular unique key on on your primary source table uh, once you do that uh, you need to get all of the data from the primary onto the target uh, if it is an existing table or if it is not then you need to create a subscription mentioning the name of the replication uh, table or uh, table or uh, replication definition uh, you need to mention the name of the uh, uh, mention uh, you need to subscribe to this particular replication definition so once you do it uh, this should definitely work Great, thank you. We have another question. Do you have queues for warm standby as well, like with the MSA? Uh, yeah, for warm standby, we, we have an inbound queue, uh, which will, um, uh, for MSA, we, we, we do have queues, but for warm standby, we have inbound queues, which will get the data from uh, the primary and then apply it to the uh, secondary. Uh, but as far as, uh, uh, MSA and table of replication are concerned uh, you uh, as it is based on the published and uh, subscribing model uh, you tend to have uh, inbound queue as well as, as well as onbound queue um, yeah that's all okay if we have replication set up for multiple targets from single sources how does the replication replicate data to each of the targets does it apply the same time or in parallel? Um, it's basically a very, uh, I mean, very tricky question. Um, the reason being, uh, it depends on your uh, on your uh, configuration parameters on the replication server. If you want to have parallel DSIs involved, yes, uh, it can it can uh, apply the transactions onto the target uh, parallelly. Or uh, and it depends on the on the uh, uh, on the target server as well the processes which are going on the target. If uh, I mean uh, it it won't it won't be going onto the target at a single time. Uh, but um, if the if the particular replication process or the user finds out a uh, uh, finds a way or finds out uh, resources to apply the transaction to 
onto the